Hello my friends, uh, thank you for watching this uh, video. Uh, I'm really excited to announce the second season of the Condes Chronicles. And um, well, I want to introduce uh, the series. And first of all, uh, thank you for having watching the Spanish uh, speakers uh, season that we just concluded a couple of days uh, ago. And, uh, well, I'm very excited because, uh, uh, fortunately, uh, many of uh, the chefs, experts, and uh, journalists uh, that I uh, asked them for, they have accepted this invitation, and I'm very happy uh, they, they did it. Um, the the Condes Chronicles are going to be uh, a series of 10 different talks. Uh, we are going to start on a Monday. Uh, June uh, 22nd with uh, Alondra Maldonado. Alondra Maldonado, she is a chef and investigator from the state of Nayarit. Uh, he's going to talk to us about the hidden secrets of the flavors of Nayarit. Um, Alondra, she has been a researcher in the uh, culinary traditions of her state that is not very well known among even among connoisseurs, so this is going to be very interesting and we are going to learn a lot about Nayarit. Then uh, the second talk is going to happen on Thursday, uh, June 25th, and we are going to talk with Mr. Tacopedia, my dear friend Alejandro Escalante. He is going to tell us everything about tacos. Uh, we are going to learn uh, from him, from him all the differences in between, uh, and uh, it's going to be like a virtual trip among all these taquerias and the wonderful uh, nightlife and night food available in the city and the rest of the country. Uh, the third talk is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, Pete Mescales uh, is going to talk uh, about um, his experiences uh, regarding uh, uh, having uh, been in need to contact with these maestros mezcaleros and how his life has been uh, going around uh, supporting and helping and working together uh, trying to introduce the mezcal tastings into, into the, the restaurants. Now uh, he's going to, to tell us all the mysteries about mezcal and everything about his life and his uh, current uh, job and enterprise. It's going to be very, very interesting. All the talks, I have to say, they're going to start at 7 p.m. Uh, Mexico City time. So uh, the four, uh, for the next uh, talk, the fourth talk, is going to be with uh, Chef Nick Sukin, uh, transmitting from Portland, Oregon. Uh, Nick Sukin, uh, he has spent several years uh, doing a field research about the barbacoas of Mexico. So his talk is going to be a barbacoa tour of, uh, of Mexico. Um, I have had the chance to be with him in, in many of his trips, and we have learned a lot about the, the different traditions and techniques around uh, the, the making of the barbacoa all over the country. Uh, for our next talk, um, uh, we are going to travel virtually all the way to Texas because we are going to connect with my dear friend Jose Ralat, taco editor of Tex Texas Monthly. Uh, and he's going to uh, talk about his very recently published book called uh, American Tacos. So the title for his talk is going to be Not All Tacos Are American, and I mean Not All Tacos Are Mexican. And uh, this is going to be very, very, very interesting because we are going to learn how far the taco has gone all over the, the world and this uh, combined cultural zone in between Tex-Mex. So this is going to be very interesting. Don't miss that. And for our next talk, uh, we're going to go all the way to uh, San Diego, where my friend Scott Koenig uh, lives. And um, he's going to uh, talk about uh, what's cooking in Baja California's wine country. This is going to happen on Thursday, July 9 at 7 p.m., like all the other talks. And uh, all you need is to connect uh, with your uh, mobile to the uh, culinary account, which is at Culinary Backstreets. Uh, the next talk, the, the 
the seventh talk of uh, the series. We are going to talk in Spanish with uh, investigator and, and tortilla activist Rafael Mier. He is going to tell us about Mexico Sabe Maiz. We are going to learn the importance of corn in not only in the culture but in the in the nutrition of uh, of Mexicans uh, and uh, how it is important to preserve our heirlooms from uh, GM uh, um, agents that uh, are dangerously close in uh, working in, in trying to work in, in Mexico. So we're going to talk about that as well. Then uh, the next talk is going to happen on Thursday, July 16, with uh, expert Ruth Alegría. I'm very proud that she has accepted this uh, conference because most of what I have learned uh, about Mexican cuisine is thanks to, to her and her contacts. She is a wonderful uh, teacher and uh, connoisseur of the different aspects of the Mexican uh, culture and gastronomy. Uh, and uh, she's going to talk about taste roots of Mexico. This is going to be as well very, very revealing. And then uh, the ninth talk is going to happen on Tuesday. This is going to be on Tuesday, uh, July uh, 21st, as a matter of fact, yes. July 21st at 7 p.m. and we are going to go all the way to Chicago and we are going to talk with uh, awarded chef uh, Rick Bayless. Uh, Rick Bayless, he was in Mexico in the 80s and, uh, and um, he's going to, to tell us about his experiences uh, in, about that time and, and how uh, this has led to all uh, his, uh, the way that he sees Mexican gastronomy and how he works with, uh, with his different business in, in the States. Uh, happened to be one of our best uh, ambassadors of Mexican cuisine, uh, not only in the States, but all over the world. And then the, the last uh, talk, but not the least, uh, we are going to talk with Lilian Aviles. She is a, a travel expert and uh, we are going to discuss uh, with her what are the challenges uh, of making tourism uh, in the times of the coronavirus? And um, I'm sure it's going to be very interesting. Uh, Lilian Aviles has a lot of experience in uh, uh, promoting Mexico internationally, mainly, and working with with uh, with um, with tourists. That it is very important uh, for uh, the, the economy of our country. So. Her vision about what is going on right now is going to be very, very interesting. So, my friends, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Don't miss these conferences. It is an, an effort of your friend Paco de Santiago, also known as Conde Petatu. And my intention is to connect the different opinions of experts, friends, and, uh, and be in touch in this uh, very hard time. So, I'm very proud that we have put together all this very interesting lineup. And don't miss our talks. Uh, the account again is Instagram, uh, Culinary Backstreets, 7 p.m. Mexico City Central Time. Uh, and then you can, uh, I'm going to leave you all the social media down here so you can connect and, uh, and be in touch with the uh, different previous activities and what is going on after the, the live streaming. Thank you very much for watching, my friends. Uh, looking forward to meet you at every one of our uh, talks. I'm sure that you're going to enjoy. Thank you very much. Gracias. Adios.